So welcome everyone um, to the first session of uh, Statistical Learning in Practice, part three course. I'm um, Alberto Coca. I'm the lecturer of the course. You can call me Alberto whenever you send me an email or here um, during class. And, um, you know, the first thing I should be saying is that this is a very exciting course. And I presume that if you are here, then you're probably going to find it exciting as well. And uh, the reason for being exciting is that um, what we're going to cover is, you know, essentially the, the, the most widely used um, algorithms out there. And we're also going to see the numerical methods so that we can implement them. So the way we'll uh, structure, you know, talking about a certain algorithm is that first we give the mathematical formulation and, uh, you know, some properties um, and properties. And um, although we're not going to have proofs in this course, so it's not really, you know, it's probably the exception to all of the rest of the part three courses. Um, you know, I will give some theorems, but I will not prove uh, any results. And then the second part in a given algorithm is that we'll um, implement it in practice on R. So by the way, uh, please download uh, R and R Studio. So you can see uh, you, you have links on my website, which I will show you in a second um, to these. So have them, you know, have this ready on your laptops and computers by Wednesday, please. Um, okay. Um, so given that it has this practical component, that this course is naturally quite interactive, or at least it has, you know, half of, of, of it is uh, quite interactive. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm really sorry that we have to um, be online uh, for this course, you know, given the circumstances, um, because, you know, the way it used to work is that I would uh, walk around the class and, uh, and answer questions uh, for everyone. But, you know, try to be interactive, at least in the practical sessions, um, of course, in, in all of the course, uh, you can ask questions whenever we're given a live session. Um, and precisely what I want to say is that because we have this uh, little contact, then I will try to have as many live sessions as possible. But um, you must have noticed that it, it wasn't classed as a, as a live uh, course. And this is because, um, you know, for, for some lectures, I can anticipate that I will not be able to, to do it live. Uh, lectures and practicals, I mean. So actually practicals, I will attempt to make them live, all of them, so that we have this interaction. Um, <clears throat> but from mid-February, I, I can anticipate that I'm going to have uh, some problems to make them live. Um, okay, so either way, you know, the, regardless of whether we have a live session or not, I will have a recording that I will upload to Moodle and my website through uh, YouTube. And uh, so you can tell people to watch it, you know, people who are not from the university. And um, the format is that I will be writing on an iPad. So you'll see this in a second. And so I will upload the notes that I will be taking on the iPad. So these are going to be a bit sketchy, perhaps. Uh, and this is because I will also have PDF notes uh, that are, you know, written in a, in a, in a sort of self-contained uh, manner. And I will uh, upload these. So the PDF notes on the theory, these I will upload after the lecture. And um, what I'm going to attempt is that we have um, also the notes for the practicals beforehand, just uh, before we start the practical and hopefully, you know, the day before or something so that you can start sort of reading it um, because they tend to be quite long, the practicals. Um, so, you know, the feedback uh, generally is that there isn't enough time in an hour. Um, so yeah, so that's why I would like to release them a bit earlier. Okay, so more interaction. So I'm going to have office hours, which uh, are going to be, well, or I said they would be on Wednesdays from 11.30 to 12.30, but I believe, so I mean, all of this information, you can find it on my website and I will post it on Moodle. Um, but um, anyway, so I said Wednesdays 11.30 starting time. And I just realized that that will be inconvenient to anyone who's wanting to attend a live lecture um, at 11 or 12, and I think there are a few. Um, so I will give you a new time, but probably on Wednesday from, you know, something like 2 or 3 p.m. Um, but please drop me an email if you want to attend uh, these. Now, we also have example classes, so four of them. These are going to be live. They have to be live uh, for all courses, I believe. And um, I will give you some time to basically attempt uh, so, you know, like a week or something to attempt all of the exercises. 
And uh, lastly, feedback. Um, so you're free, of course, to send me any email uh, anytime or, or, you know, get in touch with the undergrad office or um, essentially what's going on here. Um, or, um, or if you want to give me anonymous feedback, then I have a, um, okay, this doesn't work. That's good. Um, so I have a anonymous form on my website. So let me start sharing. Right, so you should all be able to see this now. Um, so it doesn't scroll up or down, which is good news. Um, of course, uh, life uh, always has this kind of issues. So this is my um, website. You can see there, but if you just type Alberto Coca Cambridge um, on Google, then you'll find, you'll find the website. And so you can go to teaching, although I cannot, um, you can go to teaching and there um, you will see lectures. And once you go into lectures, I have principles of stats from last term, then uh, statistical learning and practice for now. And uh, there is a feedback form as well there. Um, so I'd, I'd love to show you, but anyway, I can't. Um, so there on that, on, on that uh, feedback form, you can give me feedback, but also you can fill in a questionnaire that I would find very useful actually, uh, if you could fill it in. Um, because, you know, it's only the second time I'm teaching online. So this is also useful, um, for me, uh, not only for you to have a better, um, learning experience, but also for me to have a better teaching experience. Okay. Um, and, uh, I think that's all I wanted to say regarding, um, you know, sort of format and things about the course. Do you have any questions? Um, so if you do, feel free to unmute yourselves. I don't know if you can, but um, otherwise just write on the chat if you cannot, but you know, first. So indeed, um, if you have questions during the lecture or session, um, well, maybe not in the practical. So in the practical, you can drop me uh, um, you know, a message privately and then I will try to answer. Um, and on the lectures, if you have any questions, then feel free to unmute yourselves because otherwise I'll be probably too concentrated on, on the iPad. Um, okay, so I presume, yes, okay, so the chat is basically not active at the moment, so, uh, so there are no questions, I believe, yeah. 